All right. Well, that that that, that should conclude the us <laughs> portion of the show. I, I let's look, start I, the show. I want to I want to tell you guys a story. You're you're San Hello. Franciscans. So you you guys. Hello. You guys live at the epicenter of hate and ash ash for man. I <laughs> You, you know where the hippie thing started in the 1960s or something. The, the, the first bra was burnt at the at the quarter of the, two blocks on uh, 203 North Hate Hate and in, in the corner of Ashbury North. And, and I, this city's always had a weird relationship, with like a counterculture. And then it's like, and then it's such a nice place to live that the yuppies move in and they overtake and all this shit. And like most recently, oh Silicon Valley, oh God, Jesus Christ, oh these people, <laughs> these computer programmers. Some of them are here among us they, <laughs> I, I, they, they, they oh, I, I moved here because oh, I want this poor person's apartment how much <laughs> how much money can I pay for for it to shove them out with money and it's not their money but they're just being shoved out by money um, and we don't know where they go Oakland I don't know they, 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 <laughs> Oakland <laughs> Give it up for Oakland. Yeah. But then... What the but, lucky number is 911. But the, the intersection between those, those roads, like the, 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 the smart people whose buses you, you Visigoths block, and you're going like, your bus will not pass. And, and the people inside those buses going, I, look, I came here from uh, uh, Thailand. I don't know what's going on. I, like, it, it all intersects with innovation and, and the human spirit. And the individual triumph. <laughs> I want to tell you a story. <laughs> Wait, I thought you were. I am, I am. Okay, all right. I just wanted to remind them. Okay, right. I'm telling you a story. Uh, <laughs> about, <laughs> there was, once upon a time, there was a man. And I, I know that already makes it a less marketable <laughs> story. <laughs> But uh, that's the truth. There was a man who uh, was a trumpet enthusiast. And uh, he... Well, a brass enthusiast. Well, a brass enthusiast. Which made him, by default, a trumpet enthusiast. Right. You can interrupt anytime you want. It's fine. I'm not... Oh, is it fine? (laughs) This is what fine is? Is that okay? Is it all right? (sighs) Anytime? (laughs) I I think he was talking to me. Um, a, 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 and, and, and it's not even making sound. What is he doing? Is this insane? I feel like Jane Goodall. What am I like? I'm, I, 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 like I, I feel like I'm trying to just get everyone to have tea with me, and then I'll then I'll be like. Touchdown. I thought you were setting me up. I thought you were setting me up. Once upon a time, there was a guy <laughs> who was such a brass enthusiast that he's like I want to share my brass enthusiasm with the world and this new technology comes along oh you can make apps and he, and he goes you know what I'm going to I want everyone to learn the, the glory of the trumpet and I'm going to make an app and I'm going to call it I Trump <laughs> because I trumpet is too long and then a guy started suing him in 2011 named Donald Trump <laughs> And uh, long story short, but let's hear the rest of the story. <laughs> um, this man, Donald Trump, spent a total of something like half a decade trying to intimidate and sue this guy into non-existence, just trying to get him to stop calling his app about trumpets, I Trump. Um, this guy represented himself in court and beat him and won. <laughs> Please welcome Tom Scharfeld. Yeah. The San Francisco spirit embodied. I don't know. Was that a good introduction or was that too like weird? Amazing, amazing introduction. Only introduction I've got, ever gotten in my life. Can we, can we help you out? You don't out? want to do that all. Yeah. <laughs> can we lower your stool? <laughs> Um, uh, but, but yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm getting your story sloppy, but there are parts that are very fascinating about it. First of all, 
uh, you gotta hit it. <laughs> <laughs> it's intimidating, I have to say. My favorite part of it is that you're not you you're, you're not who's who's the most uh, her, you're not Herb Alpert. That's a famous trumpet guy, I right? I know, he's a fantastic trumpet You're trump. not like, yeah. you're, you never said that you were. You're not like, I'm the best trumpet player in the world. You love, like, right. Yeah, well, you, you have an app called iBone for yeah. trombone. So, 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 I mean, you're laughing, but it's a serious app. I mean, I'm not <laughs> laughing, they laughed. <laughs> But they also applaud because they love so it. Something, I'm a trombone player. I've been pl- playing trombone my whole life, basically. Well, you've got to eat that mic. Imagine it's a tr- I've been playing uh, trom- an instrument. <laughs> okay, I, I'm a trombone player for the record. And I've been playing pretty much my whole life. And, uh, uh, but Miles Davis is one of my big idols. So I, I love trumpet. And, uh, and so, uh, He's like the Herb Alpert of trumpet players. Right. I like Herb Alpert as well. Sorry, you guys right. don't realize Miles Davis was just outed, uh, called out uh, yesterday on a different podcast. Right. So, so what was the original question? <laughs> Continue. Sorry. Sorry. I'm, I'm being a petty vandal. I'm angry. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, no. Uh, could you... Uh, Remind you of what we were talking about? <laughs> yeah. yeah, no. I said you, you, you had a you had a iBone app, right? Right. And okay. I'm right. I'm not being aloof. I'm pulling up your app. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. So iBone was my first iPhone app. It was really an experiment, but it was something that I knew because I've been playing trombone my whole life. And I launched. You know, I worked on it for a few months and got it out. This was back in 2009. Launched it, and it was it was a success. You know, I got some good feedback, and and uh, then I you know I got to work on a trumpet pretty much right away. And, you know, a lot of work designing it, trying to get the interface right. So I was trying to make something playable and intuitive for real players. You know, something you could actually pr- use as a practice tool and learn from. Uh, and, was, and so, so the, the, the trombone was your favorite thing, but, like, you, you felt like you nailed it. And then you're like, I'm going to move on to the other instrument. Uh, right. And so I'll right. call it iTrump. This yes. is 2011. Right. So right. then something comes in the mail. Yeah, so pretty much... Uh, I launched it... Uh, and maybe I can provide some soundtrack for this story. So, so I, yes. Yeah. So I launched it in, in January 2011. <laughs> it's beautiful. For those of yeah. you listening, I'm providing that soundtrack with this amazing $2 app. Yeah, it's not a real trumpet. $2.99? Right. So, I, 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 I very, very affordable compared to the price of fascism. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Continue. So I launched it at the NAM show. I don't know if you know the NAM show. It's a big uh, music merchandising show in Anaheim. And uh, we all, it, we're we, all very it, familiar it was, with. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, <laughs> it's the biggest trade show in Anaheim, but 80,000 people or something. So anyway. You don't have to sell it. It was a good us. launch. It was a good launch. After two years into a good launch, it was in USA Today. And then two weeks later, I got a cease and desist letter from Donald Trump. And, uh, and honestly, I, um, well, I got the letter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you get the letter, and it says, stop. Stop calling your app iTrump. Right. So the- My boss, uh, I'm a lawyer from uh, Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe, and I... Right, right. <laughs> I, 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 I uh, stop calling it I Trump. You know there's only one Trump, and anyone that's ever going to call something I Trump is the big, big buster himself. Right, right. Okay. So you read that letter. Right. And he claimed compu- he had some computer games, and he claimed that. Uh, he claimed he had computer games? Yeah. <laughs> and iPhone apps, and he claimed that, he, that I was trading off of goodwill that he had. Generated, he you know, thought you were riding on the back of the popularity of Donald Trump in 2011 yeah, yes. with your app about trumpets. Yes, yes. And he claimed that, tr- uh, you know, it's... Oh, sorry. Trumpets known as... <laughs> so, yeah, he claimed that it was, uh, it's, it's known as a horn and not a Trump. And, and so, anyway, I... I <laughs> <laughs> that was the, that's their argument? That it's, was it. <laughs> It's, <laughs> that was it's, a, yeah, it's, the, the, the instrument you're describing is not called a trump. Right. My it's, boss is called a trump. It's known as a horn. Okay. Anyway, uh, uh, basically all brass instruments are known as horns. Anyway, um, so I got the letter and I, I, I honestly thought it was, it felt like some kind of, you know, it felt like April Fool's or something. So I actually, I, I saw it on my phone and I laid down on my bed and pulled the computer up just, you know, to take some time to read it. 
And then I, I, the first thing I did was to actually go to the, the lawyer lawyer's webpage to make sure it was a legitimate, like yeah. a real firm. You, know? you thought it might be your friend no, from I college. No, I mean, honestly, I, <laughs> fucking with yeah, you. it was out of, com, you know, completely out of this world. It, it, it was, it, I, so I wasn't, I wasn't afraid, right? I was really just more shocked, right? I mean, you know, it just didn't seem real. Right? At this point, I just want to interject. How is your, is your eye bone money, like, keeping you afloat? Like, are you, I, I, I just want to get a, get a sense of, like, are you in a one-bedroom apartment, a two-bedroom apartment? <laughs> are, you, are you married? Are you a trust fund guy? Are you, you know, we, we, we want to feel your pro- protagonism. Well, I'm a, so I started doing apps, like, uh, when I was 29, 30. And uh, I had saved up money, you know, before. And then I started working on some different projects which didn't make a lot of money ibone made you know some money you know uh and uh but it's volatile you know it, it doesn't it's, just last you have to continue to develop and to promote you, it you weren't sitting on a war chest that you no, could I'm go not into sitting litigation on a war chest. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh, no one here is sitting on a war no, chest I, yeah, i'm yeah. not sitting on a war chest but but uh but i really believe in my products you know and, and i really ha- have you know God, I hope you. and dreams I, right? this is why i love you this is why you're a hero okay because you're passionate about fucking brass instruments yeah well <laughs> Which is the opposite of Donald Trump, and he's yeah. not passionate about anything. So, and, so I, I worked on products that I haven't been that passionate about, and when I started working on, on projects that I was passionate about, it was like, you know, it was something amazing. What are the products you weren't passionate about? I mean, I... <laughs> you know what? You don't well, want to hear about uh, it. Well, he... I mean, maybe we... I, he's... Uh, yeah, I mean... I really salad. Just, just one... Well, I mean, the one I did immediately prior to iBone was that was a, a service called Whoop Tones. Whoop Tones? Oh, yeah. that sounds familiar. And uh, I loved Whoop. I'm, I, I was passionate about it for a while, but then the, the meaning wasn't there, you know? <laughs> and, and, and the, so, yeah. So the, the, the product, what it did was... Sometimes it allowed, the spark goes was, out. It was, Sometimes. It was basically pre-smartphone. It allowed you to, to call people and, and play sound effects during the phone call. And, uh, I like that yeah. already. I mean, you can't do that now. It was now. a fun. I, uh, maybe you know, I, I could uh, like a soundboard. Like I, think, a, I could call yeah, Jeff like a, and go, right, like and go a, like, "Hey, man, do you want to hang out?" And then press yeah, a button. And be like, yeah, so you could, you could, and you <laughs> exactly, yeah. So you could. Was, so the the, the motto, the slogan was, it was Whoop Tones. Press one to fart was the uh, slogan. <laughs> That's the slogan of the company. Oh, the, yeah. Whoop Tones. Press one to fart. Right. Okay. But but you could actually. Take the sounds and you are. That's from 2005. It was launched in 2000. It's still These online. are 2005 farts, Dan. But are you picking up emotionally on the fact that you are the hero that we've always well, wanted? Yeah. Uh, Thank you. But anyway, you could play scenes too. You know, backgrounds that would loop to so create the impression you're elsewhere. You could do that too. Oh, like so you could do yeah. like a, a, a a foggy harbor in London. Yeah. Like, hey, fact, I can't make it to work. I, my yeah. ship is uh, Pat Paddington uh, is lost, and or, I'm or trying to find him. A, a, a bunch of typewriters and people talking like, honey, I, 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 oh, yeah, I can't right now. I got a, I got a big story coming out right now. <laughs> it's in there. That's that's one of them. Busy office. Okay. But anyway, so I worked on it for two years, and you know, I just really didn't get anywhere, and. And I, so I started to lose the passion for it. And, and, you know, part of it was the meaning for me wasn't there. You know, it right. wasn't something I could go back to my childhood and latch on to, you know. But the trombone was. Was well, that, was that was. what you played when you were it in, sounds in crazy. school? Was that your first instrument in school? Yeah, trombone? yeah. And, you know, my, my you know, idols, Miles Davis, J.J. Johnson, trombone player. But, but, uh, but it, it's something that really meant something. And so if I could do something for those kids or the ex-players that are... You know, the seniors and whatever. Kids deprived I mean, of music but, budgets and their So the meaning was there. And is, is there a market? I, I didn't know, but, but it, was, it was an experiment. You know, it was, it was a way to learn how to build an app. It was my first app. And, uh, but because I knew, um, I, knew, I knew what the trombone was, I knew how I would design right. it immediately. It was just about trying to figure out how to build the app. You know, but when I started to get good feedback, you know, I just kept on going. Yeah. Yeah. So that you're like, yeah, let's the 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 eye bone didn't make you a billionaire. It, Not but a billionaire, it, it, it but it gave you an emotional cue that you're like, I should keep following this path of bliss. Yeah, but I am uh, going to so, now so, do the so I, I could see a path to maybe not billions, but maybe millions. 
seriously. Plus, yeah, well, I could see it. But at any rate, yeah, like like, like the, your your job had had coincided with your fulfillment. And you're like, right, I right. Trump. That's right, next. and so that's what I was kind of going for. So then you get yeah. a letter. A guy yeah. goes, I'm Trump. I will be I Trump. I'm going to be I Trump. And then, so then, here's the part where you become a god. Because you don't go, oh shit, <laughs> Donald Trump is suing me. I'll just do the I flute. <laughs> you represent yourself and just go through this process that takes forever and the mm-hmm. whole time i'm not i don't want to put words in your mouth like you're you had to go through this whole thing you know it was never you in court next to him it was just people and probably mostly paperwork right but. Uh, yeah i mean uh so you know it's, it's a long process and uh, you know i just kind of took it step by step and i didn't really know what i was getting into uh but you know when it starts with something that's ridiculous i mean that's what it seemed like to me if somebody goes and, like hey you over there. That's my name. Right. That's right. my property. No, like, like, I felt like I was being mugged by like him, he himself. You know, it's like you're out in the street in New York and he comes out of nowhere and robs you. Yeah. I mean, that's what it felt like. Yeah. And like, you know, what am I supposed yeah, like to do? Yeah, like the Monopoly guy like. is robbing you. Right. It just. Like you're, 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 you're little Bruce Wayne and your parents are coming out of the opera house and then a fucking dude that's even richer than them is like. <laughs> it's. it's a, Right, right. right. Fake, I, uh, I want everyone's money. Not real people. I just, no, I mean, I they all groan. The tragedy's real, <laughs> Rob. Right. <laughs> and, and you're laughing, but that's what it felt like. And yeah. that, that feeling persisted throughout, for years. And, um, and so anyway, you know, I, 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 continue, I checked it out. I, I, you know, I asked some lawyers, you know, what they thought about it, just to, you know, for reality check, to make sure, I, you know, I knew a little bit because I'd gotten trademarks through the office, but I got a reality check and... Uh, <laughs> And, um, I, I guess that's supposed to sound like a road of trials beat. <laughs> but um, I have a I have a quick question. Yeah. Did so when you were developing I Trump, did any point in your mind were you like going, uh, it kind of sounds like like that Donald Trump guy? Like, or did did that ever cross your mind until no, you got the? Did. It never did because this was you know 2011. You'd right. be like, you'd be like, oh, is that the guy from Home Alone too? Right. No, it's no. that's the guy. That's the birther conspiracy guy. Yeah, no. the guy from Is Apprentice. that the guy that's been I, trying to run for president for thirty-five years, no, but it, like no, yeah, basically he, in secrecy right. because no one cared? Yeah, no, it never crossed my mind, not once. And that's that's why that letter was so, uh, you know. And crazy. there's another threshold you cross. This is mm-hmm. what's important: uh, is that you you defeat this and you do it representing yourself. They got their lawyers. They're hoping you're going to get scared, go bankrupt. You stick to it. You reach a point where you have the right to do your thing, but then you, okay, so, like every hero. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so the, well, and then the, so after the litigation started the following year, as I continued to use the app and continued to sell it and, and everything, and and uh, and so the litigation, you know, that was I was going to try to use a lawyer for that, but but that fell through like the day before. Uh, my, my he answer. died mysteriously, so, didn't know, the, he? The way litigation works... <laughs> he one, died in a tuba accident. Right. Like, <laughs> I won't get into it. It's nine hookers, nine <laughs> Russian hookers fell on him <laughs> from the top of a shitty yeah. building. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Anyway, it fell through. <laughs> and, he and was so strangled I, with bad so clothing I was, I was and choked left with to, uneatable to steak. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know. I don't know. But... So the one side, you know, the, the, the plaintiff files the complaint first. You got 40 days to answer. So it was a couple of days before the answer was due that, that it, this fell through. So I, so I go, I, I'm myself, and I do it myself for that. And then that was, you know, it was just step by step after that. Next, there's a settlement, you know, a discovery conference where you have to talk to the lawyers. That didn't go too well. Uh, and, and, and they kind of threatened me, you know, threatened me with their, uh, you know, they said I had, would have to come through them. And... I have the phone, and, and I, I, that really kind of uh, made me more determined to continue. So that continued for, for the next year, two, maybe it was about two years after that. And they were stonewalling throughout the whole period. And, 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 and so I had to go to the board, for motion to compel. I mean, they, they we're talking hundreds of emails back and forth, you know, trying to work through legal arguments and all kinds of stuff. But then I filed a motion to compel demanding that they turn over the information 
the board sided with me and required them to turn over a lot of information. So I'm, I'm trying to give them, you know, get them to turn over information related to, that would support the facts. This uh, is where you the, become Melanie Griffith in Pacific Heights. <laughs> Shot in San Francisco. Right. Because you're like, okay, go, 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 go. Right, so, and, and, you know, they're trying to get me to hire a lawyer. They're claiming I'm brazen for representing myself and all kinds of stuff. And uh, so anyway, the board sided with me and forced them, told them they were going to have to turn over, you know, certain information. And ultimately, they didn't want to do it, so they withdrew. And I, but I had counterclaims. And then you're like, why are you withdrawing? Right. Sorry. I, and I, wa- sorry. I was like that. I my, was like that. My well, girlfriend calls us Dan Splaining. I'm sorry. I didn't. Well, I, I, I think I coined that. Thing. Yeah. I, I mean, I had, some idea, I had some ideas. Part of it, Everybody I thought, was... Everybody calls it that now, yeah. Part of it, I thought, was they had, no, they had no claims to begin with, right? This was just about draining me and disrupting my, my little business. And, um, but it was also appeared that they were trying to protect some of their own trademarks, uh, which, which appeared to me to be... Yeah, they were shady. And I, I only learned about this during the course of the, that, that proceeding over that, that two-year period. What does shady mean in the trademark world? It means it could be in a number of things. In this case, uh, one appeared uh, fraudulently maintained, mm-hmm. meaning they're just one, said one of, they tried. Well, one of the declarations it. that they filed was false, right? Clear, okay. Clearly false, mm-hmm. and it appeared that they knew it was false, and that they they, they filed it anyway, right. In order to main, to to gain this right of incontestability. So the legal basis case. for the trademark is what was shady. Uh, right, for right. this particular mark like I'm talking about. They made shit right. up. They were like, oh, we got, we got a half dozen things called Trump. We got Trump perfume, Trump wastebaskets, Trump thing. And then one of them was like, no, you don't. Trump so th- so this tires, one- Trump alarm clocks, yeah. Trump, Trump sidewalks. Fire hydrants. So this, right. one, this particular Trump one. Fish this particular one. Rob, Rob, I bet, just a little sidebar. I bet you can't name 20 more of those. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, will... Someone keep count. <clears throat> Trump dogs. One. Trump frogs. Two. Trump doors. Three. Trump floors. Four. Trump states. Five. Trump buses. Six. Trump fences. Seven. Trump balloons. Eight. Trump faster. Faster. Fasters, <laughs> Trump windows, Nine. Trump pictures, Ten. Trump numbers, Eleven. Trump wait that one drums, count. Trump 12. pets, thirteen, kind of like Trump, Trump dogs. pets. Okay, Trump zoos, fourteen. All right, okay. he can't. He can't do so it. So steaks. steaks. I can do it. Steaks is the only one. Like steaks is the only one. Right. But, that was, but it was good. And, they, and Trump actually, you know, Trump asserted his entire trademark portfolio against me. Seriously. Entire, you know, he had 120 registrations. And the board asked him to That's clarify. That's a lot of registrations. Which, right. Which, one are you actually, which ones are you actually going to rely on this proceeding? And he picked steaks among a few others. Because they're furniture. delicious. Anyway. All right. And you Gross. fucking, but you went after him. You got, you, I went you, after his, you, you, his you, the dragon tried to eat you. And you avoided the dragon, and then as the dragon flew away, you grabbed it by the tail and you ate the ass of the dragon. <laughs> That's my my. Well, not that kind of eating his go- ass. Go- go- Google his struggle. <laughs> More importantly, buy his app. I want him to be a billionaire by the end of 2018. Uh, whether you whether you care about the trumpet or not. Uh, can, can I can I pitch you uh, can, can I pitch you Tom? Uh, can I pitch you an idea? I, um. Because people think a tuba is the big one they carry around. People do but, think that. Yeah, but that's that's sousaphone. That's a sousaphone. Right. Uh, how about uh, do a sousaphone app and call it the iPhone? <laughs> ah. Easy peasy. I was thinking, you got yeah, momentum. I was thinking about sousaphone. What do they call the tr- the trump the the tuba if it's not that? Well, if there's a stand up tuba or like a sit down tuba, and then there's the marching tuba, which is a sousaphone. Why don't you just say that? Well, because it's a sousaphone and not a. All right, can, 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 you, let's hear a little dis, of this. Uh, yeah, I, I how Trump. did you? I, how I did you eat the, Trump? Tell us about eating the dragon's ass. 
Well, the the app, by the way, it's there's not, a dragon it's, like not it. only is like, it a, a, is it a simulated trumpet, which is already worth two dollars. Like it also has like a karaoke mode where you can. Someone expressed incredulity. They're like a simulated trumpet for three dollars. What? <laughs> um, I. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't hear anything. But he made that a, up. Yeah. But wait, there's also there's like a more. karaoke mode where you can. That's good, that's good. <laughs> it's already better than the first year of presidency. I would vote for the... Yeah, he's fantastic. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Thus spake drunk Zarathustra. Let's go back to the story. Go back to the story. Is there... Wait,